Ladies and gentlemen, this is internet personality Vangelis, and the nightmare is over. Street Star is a thing of the past. Street Smart is obsolete. For Combiner Wars, Hasbro has re-secured the use of the name Streetwise for this Protect-A-Bot police car, and I'm real happy about that, because I would regularly forget that the other two placeholder names even happened. I mean, Street Star was G2 BotCon, so that stuck a little bit, but Street Smart? More like Hard Shell? Or Crash Bash? Streetwise is like a slightly futuristic, super sleek sports car with lights on top, which I guess means that he always wins his on-road pursuits. It's a delightful piece of toy automobile cast in a kind of dirty white plastic and armed with a decent number of paint apps and tampographs, which I guess was paid for in part by his unpainted hubcaps. A neat budget-minded touch in the positive direction is that some red plastic is used on Streetwise's robot kneecaps that doubles as somewhat simplified tail light coloration. Anyway, Streetwise looks somewhat familiar, and that's because he's a remold of the Combiner Wars Dead End figure. Except, he's also almost entirely new tooling. Like, just about every visible piece of the car mode barring the wheels is a completely new component when compared to Dead End's own assembly. Even more so than the differences between Optimus Prime and Motormaster. Streetwise does still have three 5mm ports in the same spots as Dead Ends for weapon storage and what have you, but let's stay focused on all the retooling and make our way over to robot mode. <laughs> So what's the same between these two? The ratcheting combiner peg, the fists, the crotch, the hips, the thighs, and the rotating hand foot gun peg inside the right shin. Every other visible robot mode part is completely unique between Streetwise and Dead End. Even the mostly covered torso chunk that surrounds the combiner peg. Anyway, I had a lot of nice things to say about Dead End, and Streetwise inherits a bunch of those qualities, like the cool robot mode proportions and the tight car hood backpack. He also inherits the overly retro lack of easily discernible feet, and the inexplicable detented wrist hinges. His color layout is pretty swell, though the red pipe inside his right shin is hell of distracting. I am really into the black strips on the fronts of those shins, which replicates where the car mode's rear windows ended up on the G1 toy. Combiner Wars Streetwise has a lot of extra red, but I think it's almost all an enhancement over just leaving huge patches of this guy's body stark white. The head sculpt is intensely G1 toy referential, down to the really weird series of layered and open panels over Streetwise's mouth. I really like it, and it's... man, it's really weird. Like, skydive weird. Bring on the non-generic faces, man. Streetwise has the same hand foot gun as Dead End, but his personal weapon is totally new. It's a shotgun. A triple barreled shotgun. Simple, effective, and just enough overkill to make one want to double check this Robocop psych profile. Despite the massive reshelling, Streetwise still has the core design skeleton of Dead End, so his limb modes work the same way. However, on mine, the arm mode actually holds together a bit better. Specifically, the tabs that link his robot mode legs into Defensor's forearms. I was all jazzed and ready to report on this improvement until I heard from several people that they had the opposite experience, with Streetwise being more loosely held together down there. But then a couple folks corroborated my experience, so your mileage may vary, unfortunately. Also, as an arm, you need to go non-stock on where Streetwise's own arms go, as they'll very easily get in the way of Defensor's big chest plate. Leg Mode Streetwise has the advantage of his car mode's width, which makes him able to work with bulkier teammates like First Aid and Rook. As always, you can flip the front of the car around to provide a knee pad of sorts if that's how you like to roll. I already loved Combiner Wars Dead End, so to take that figure and re-sculpt nearly every component in a reshelling that goes well beyond many other similar examples in Transformers history, that's how you make me really like Streetwise. But setting those broad stroke qualities aside, his colors are varied and laid out pretty well, his head sculpt is exactly what I wanted from a modernized streetwise portrait, and his three-barrel shotgun is a lovely 5mm handled weapon not just for him, but also for whoever else needs to lay down some triple buckshot hatred. It is just a shame that his base level white plastic color didn't end up as starkly blanched as his teammates. It makes him stick out in group photos in a way he probably shouldn't, as though I somehow caused the toy to suffer sun exposure discoloration in the span of only a few months, and right out of the package. Anyway, this has been Internet Personality Vangelis, and Streetwise wasn't the only Combiner Wars protect -a bot to go full reshell, and the next guy has actually DONE things in the comic books! Like suffer horrifying... trauma!